Ah, yes, the rent uh, yesterday did uh, strengthen quite a bit, and uh, it looks like it broke the 686 level that we were looking for. And um, uh, most of that, uh, the, the, the rent movement was also because of uh, the dollar weakness, which came uh, on the back of uh, reports that uh, Moody's may uh, downgrade uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, debt, um, and especially if, uh, you know, the... the, the the, I mean, the, the, the asset purchasing program that has been uh, implemented does lead to higher inflation. We also had at the same time the rand strengthening against the euro going below nine. So uh, it looks like pretty, pretty all round strength for the rand at this stage. Though we do have reports uh, coming through from yesterday. The Treasury is lifting prudential limits on offshore investments. And it looks like the Treasury trying to take some steps to negate some of those, uh, those strong inflows. Definitely, Stephen. Uh, I mean, the implementation that was made by the Treasury yesterday um, didn't uh, move the rent that much yesterday. But then we believe that, you know, over the longer term, we could see uh, the rent uh, weakening uh, on the back of uh, those measures, especially if uh, South African or local investors uh, do, uh, do in, uh, uh, diversify and take uh, the money outside, uh, given the strong rent. So over the long term, uh, the the measures that uh, were um, announced by the National Treasury as well as reserve accumulation are some of the measures that uh, it looks like the authorities are taking uh, active steps to try and uh, limit the rent strength. Well, take a look at today. We have consumer inflation numbers coming out this morning. I think the market looking for a figure of around 3.5%, and that's up from 3.4% in October, 3.2% in September. Uh, are you tied to that number as well? And do you think we have seen inflation turn the corner at that September uh, release? Yes, Stephen, Standard Bank is in line with expectations of a 3.5 percent year-on-year increase in November, and uh, we believe that um, if the number comes at 3.5 percent, it means then the September uh, number was uh, the bottom of or the trough uh, in the inflation cycle. And from now on, we are going to see inflation trending higher modestly uh, in the next few months. Uh, but then, what it means for interest rate is that. Uh, you know, interest rate could still remain um, as low as they are at the moment. We're not expecting any further cuts. However, if the numbers that lead to a further cause of uh, uh, interest rate cuts uh, in, the, in, in uh, the near term. Uh, but then again, when you look at the flower market, the flower market is still pricing in about 20% probability of a rate cut. So, um, you know, the chances are still very low for uh, interest rate cut uh, in the near term.